What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for tuning in. Today we got kind of a quick video, um, something that I've been telling myself to do for a while and so now it's time to finally just do it. Um, if you've been around for a while, you'll know or you might remember that I did a kind of a more detailed video on how to check for blow-by on your 7.3 power stroke. Um, during that video or after that video was posted, I had a lot of people asking questions is it better to check for blow-by when the engine is warm or is it better to check for the blow-by when the engine is cold? If you're looking to buy a diesel and you're asking questions of what you should look for, um, nine times out of ten people will tell you to check for the blow-by of the truck or blow-by of the engine. So what does that mean? So a very, very brief explanation of what blow-by is is basically um, you have your pistons and rings going up and down in each cylinder and every time it goes up and down you get a combustion or explosion from the fuel and that's what drives the engine. As the engines get more used and more worn in and more worn down, um, you'll start to get more of a gap between the piston itself and the cylinder wall and because of that you'll get combustion, gases and explosion going down past the piston down into the crankcase of the engine itself. The reason why it's such a common thing to check for and what everybody says to check for when you're shopping for an older diesel is because that's a telltale sign of if the engine is more worn out or not if you're seeing more and more uh, blow-by gas is coming out of the crankcase. The crankcase is basically what it sounds like. You got your main crankshaft going inside the engine and that's what all your pistons rotate on and as the gases move past the pistons. The crankcase is that whole area that they build up in. Basically the way to check for this is as simple as when the engine is running you undo the oil fill cap and see how much pressure is actually coming out of the crankcase because that's where you pour the oil into so when you're pouring oil into the engine or changing the oil and pouring it in you're actually pouring it down into the crankcase down all the way to the oil pan so that is a very very simple explanation of what blow by is and why it's important to check it um, or why everybody recommends checking it it's basically a telltale sign of how healthy the engine is or how worn out it is. So how do you check it? Um, it's pretty simple. It's basically the main way to check it is you take the oil fill cap, unscrew it, flip it upside down, put it back on the spout and see if the engine have, has enough pressure uh, to lift the cap off or blow it off. Um, if you get a truck with really bad blow-by, uh, you'll actually see the cap actually fluttering up and down on top of the spout before it gets blown off. So that's basically the main way that everybody checks for blow-by, simply flipping the cap upside down, and that's a pretty good way to do it. I came up with my own way, or I don't know, I haven't seen anybody else do it this way, so I'm going to say I came up with my own way. I'm sure somebody else has done it before. Uh, but I actually like to use a ping pong ball and set that on the oil fill spout itself. Uh, just because a ping pong ball is so much lighter than the oil cap that you can see a lot more of the flutters and pressure coming out as opposed to the oil cap. And so if the truck doesn't have a lot of blow by, you may not see any effect on the oil cap at all but you can see it with a ping pong ball. So, like I said on my last video where I kind of explained all this and went through this in more detail, I had a lot of people asking questions on whether you should check for blow by when it's warm or cold. Um, to be honest, I didn't have an answer for them. I didn't know if it was worse or better. So that's basically what we're gonna be testing today. Um, how much of a difference does engine temperature have on the blow by that you actually see when you're checking out a truck? So this is my truck, the rig we're gonna be testing on today. Ignore the fact that she's completely filthy. Um, she's a 2000 F250 7.3 liter power stroke with 100 and I think or just about to roll 120,000 miles on it. So she's pretty fresh. Um, I will say the last owner didn't take care of it as good as I would have liked. Um, but all in all, I think she's in pretty good shape. Um, so this is what we're going to test. I'll hop in and fire it up and show you guys the temperature so you can believe me that it is actually... A cold engine um, and then we'll check the blow by now when it's cold we'll let it run get up to operating temperature and then we'll check it again all right so let's get this thing fired up I messed up on the mileage it is about to roll a hundred and thirty thousand miles not 120 um, I'm not a liar I swear so let the weight start light go off she has been sitting a few days it's not all that it's not all that cold, so it could probably fire up without the glow plugs, but it'd be nice to her. There we go. As you can see down here, the engine's cold. 
I will get you guys the oil temperature when it comes up on the gauges. Alright, so oil temperature is sitting at 37 to 38 degrees. So let's go out and check to see what the blow-by looks like right now. Alright, so for this part I figured I'd do a little bit of a voiceover for you guys. Um, because there's no way you're going to be able to hear me over the engine and the noise of the fan. So, as you can see, taking off the oil cap, there is a little bit of mist or steam or vapor coming out of the uh, filler tube. Um, not a whole lot, but there is some. And then right here you'll see that the cap itself keeps falling off, but that's mainly because I'm sitting on the slope of the driveway and it's just vibrating off towards the back. It's not actually getting lifted and pushed off. Um, now moving on to the ping pong ball, you can see that there actually is some pressure coming out of the filler tube. Not a whole lot, but because the ping pong ball is so light, it does a good job in showing if there's any little bit of pressure coming out. And that's kind of the main reason I like using the ping pong ball, because it does such a good job of picking up even just the slightest bit of pressure coming out. Which you can see, it is vibrating ever so slightly um, and getting lifted up, which you couldn't see at all with the cap. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in the video or not, but the engine actually just kicked into high idle because it's cold and it's warming up. So um, that doesn't help the test a whole lot, but you can see it really doesn't make that big of a difference. It's just kind of vibrating a little bit faster. Um, nothing all that crazy about it, um, but there is a little bit of uh, pressure coming out of it when it's cold. Alright, so I'll give you guys one more look at the actual vapors coming out. It shouldn't be steam because there's no water in there. I think it's just somewhat of the exhaust gases and uh, atomized oil getting past the uh, combustion chamber. But give you guys a little bit of a look. There's not a whole lot coming out um, that you can see at this point in time. So we'll close her back up and let her keep running until we get up to operating temperature. Alright guys, we're back. The truck is pretty much warmed up. I can't say it's at like full driving operating temperature, but it should be warm enough to get a good idea of what it actually looks like versus warm versus cold. So, just so you guys can see, the truck is at 146 degrees. Um, still going up a little bit. And then operating temp down there, a coolant temp down there is about halfway, getting close to halfway. So it's time to go back out to the cold and see what the blow-by looks like now that the truck is basically at operating temperatures. All right, so let's take the cap back off. And right away, you'll begin to notice that there's quite a bit more uh, mist or steam or vapor coming out of the tube itself um, compared to what it was when it was cold. And this is completely what I expected because as the engine warms up and it gets a lot hotter inside the engine, um, you would expect to get more vapor and more steam and um, whatever coming out of the tube. So this didn't really take me off guard. Um, you'll see here when we put the ping pong ball down on there, it's not vibrating or moving a whole lot more than it was before, but it definitely is a tad bit more pressure coming out of the tube itself or out of the crankcase. Um, not a huge difference but it is noticeable um, hopefully you guys will be able to notice it um, i could see it um, in person and it is there um, with the engine warmer it definitely does seem to be um, a little more blow by personally i don't think this is any bit of blow by to really be all that concerned about um, as you can tell, the cap itself didn't hardly move at all, and the ping pong ball, even with as light as it is, still really isn't moving that much. Um, it's just a bit of a jiggle, or whatever you want to call it there, um, sitting. So I'll take the ping pong ball back off, give you guys another look at the steam or vapor coming out. I keep saying steam, it's not steam, but some of the vapor coming out of the tube itself and put the cap back on as you can see the cap still doesn't move at all um, 
another way, checking it like that. Cap doesn't move at all. Um, if you see a truck with blow-by and the cap itself is actually moving, you know it's got a pretty good amount of blow-by. As you can see, the ball itself was moving quite a bit more, but the cap didn't even budge from the extra blow-by that we see when it's warmer. So for my engine, I'm not all too worried about that, uh, but it gives you guys a good reason to bring a ping-pong ball of some sorts if you're going to check out a truck. Here you can see another look into the crankcase is through the dipstick tube right here. Alright guys, there you have it. I would say that looking at it myself in person, there does look like there's a bit more blow-by when the engine is warm. There is definitely more um, vapor coming out of it. I, I'm not entirely sure what that is. I've heard some people say it's condon or water vapor. It doesn't really make sense because it's in the oil. Um, there shouldn't really be any water in there. The two things I think it probably is, is probably some of the exhaust gases that go down into the crankcase and back up out there. So we're seeing some of the smoke from there, as well as maybe some atomized oil from inside the crankcase. Uh, but all in all, there's definitely more vapor or mist or whatever you want to call it coming out. Um, and then as far as pressure goes, which pressure is the actual important part in all of this, um, the mist is what it is, but you're looking for pressure, how much pressure is actually coming out of the crankcase. And I would say by the looks of it with the ping pong ball, there is a little bit more, but not a whole lot, at least on my truck that is. Um, so I'd say if you guys are going to look at a truck to buy or check out or something, um, maybe take it for a test drive first and then check the blow by on it once it's at full operating temperatures so I think you'll get a full idea of how much blow by there actually is so hopefully that basically answers the questions that I was getting on my last blow by video um, a long while back on does it matter blow by warm versus cold I would say that testing blow by when it's warm you will definitely see more blow by um, I don't know why or what's changing inside the engines you would think that as it warms up, the cylinder or the pistons and the rings would expand and seal it off more. Uh, but then at the same time, maybe the, the cylinders are expanding more and allowing more gases to go through. I don't know. But either way, that's the answer for you guys. You do see more blow by when the engine is warm. Um, maybe you guys can get a better deal if you test it warm and can knock off some money off the price tag. I don't know. Um, right now, it is actually Christmas Eve. Um, I told you guys I was going to try to get a video out for you guys before I leave for the holidays. So this video is probably going up on Sunday morning, which is in between Christmas and New Year's. So hopefully you guys had a great holiday with friends and family. Maybe you got some truck parts under the tree. Those are always some of the best presents. For those of you guys that watched my last video on unboxing the new turbo and all the other goodies around it, I'll say that all those different parts have been dropped off at the powder coater. Uh, he was nice enough to meet me on a Sunday morning. Um, so I can drop them off to him. So that means that hopefully by the time I get back They should all be done and ready to go uh, Which should be pretty awesome. I saw the color of the powder coat in person And it's going to be killer with that being said that means we're going to have a pretty darn exciting video coming up here in the very near future So if you're not subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe so you don't miss out um, if you haven't seen that last video of unboxing the turbo go check it out the thing is pretty freaking awesome brand new turbo from KC turbos um, I'm excited to get it on the truck I'm hearing a lot of good things from guys that have them on there and just by looking at it It should be pretty awesome. So subscribe so you don't miss out and I'll catch you guys on the next video